What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Miami Dolphins' defense. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't get blocked. I'm still having to use broadcast view. Um, I don't know if the offense video was able to come out or not. Uh, I'm recording this before it's scheduled. Um, but I didn't watch the entire game on film um, with that one either. Uh, I thought it was pretty clear what was going on with the offense. Uh, offensive line was failing completely. Uh, couldn't really run the ball. A lot of stupid drops, a lot of stupid penalties, stuff like that. Um, it's going to be a similar case here with the defense. I thought the defense played very well. Um, I'm not going to um, watch really any of the fourth quarter. I'll, I'll watch the first half and maybe some of the third quarter uh, here in this video. Um, but I don't want you guys to think the defense is bad just because they gave up those points at the end. They were just so exhausted because the offense couldn't do a damn thing. Um, so I don't I don't really want to run them through the mud because they were exhausted at the end of the game. Especially because, I mean, it's Florida. It's hot as fuck. Like, offense isn't doing a thing. I'm sure morale was destroyed for the defense. But anyway, let's, get in, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so, we've got press man coverage here. It looks like we're probably going to be bringing some pressure. Doesn't actually end up getting any. Um, good coverage, though. And also, one thing to point out, like, right off the bat, like, th this drive right here, they're starting past the 50. They, they got good field position consistently. And the Bills are a great team. Like, you can't just give them this. Now, this was bad. This is something we have to deal with. All right. Christian Wilkins right now is one-on-one. -on -one. He needs to shed this. And so is Adam Butler, actually. Both of these have one-on-one -on -one looks. You both need to be able to shed your guy and get in the backfield and make this tackle. Uh, Jerome Baker, you need to see this and come plug this gap. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot here. Holland, you could have seen this a little bit faster, but you're a rookie, and this is what I had issues with you in college, was your ability to, uh, process things. Uh, he does chase him later, but it's, you can't catch him. So, like I said, um... D-line needs to be more physical, and our linebackers and safeties definitely need to process things faster. Uh, that is what we've seen in preseason. That's what we've seen in the Patriots game, and we've seen that a bit in this game as well. Let's go back one. All right, that was the fourth down. The two got hurt. So again, they're starting like <laughs> they're starting at their own forty-eight. Like they're starting with good field position again. Like they they got to fourteen points very quickly. But look at the field position they've had both times against the Buffalo Bills. This is a great offense and defense. They're a very well balanced team. They're very good on both sides of the ball. Actually, all three. They're pretty good on special teams too. Uh, McKenzie had some good returns, all that. Um, kicking and punting is consistent. Like They're a good team. You can't be giving them field position like this. And with the turnovers we had, the drops we had, the, the penalties, like this is a lot to ask from this defense, as good as it is. Um, so let's see what happened on this play. So we're in zone coverage here. Uh, one way of kind of telling that pretty pretty easily is the way the corners are dropping back. Um, typically, if it's going to be man, especially with how they were lined up, Byron would have tried to push this guy to the outside because that requires a more accurate throw because, you know, it, it's between the defender and the sideline, so you have to be much more accurate 
to uh, make that throw. Um, but because Byron is looking inside, this is zone. And you do that because that inside is where your help is. You want to push them toward where your help is. Um, so with Byron, you know, taking off downfield and, you know, this defender here, I can't tell who that is. He can't get through him. So this is just wide open. This is just good play design based on our scheme there. Uh, but Justin Coleman does read it perfectly and make a good tackle. So, um, so this is something I kind of highlighted when we were scouting them. Uh, this isn't quite like a stack, but uh, I did kind of predict that they would have people like off the line of scrimmage so we can't press them because that is something that um, Miami really likes to do. Uh, and this is something that we're implementing a little bit more this year too is uh, disguising our safeties. Like we'll have one come down be right before the snap, which is something I really like. Agba doing Agba things. Uh, looks like he's got his hands inside. Yep, he's going to defeat that, that inside wrist and that frees him up to help make this tackle. I feel like he might be our most consistent defensive lineman. I don't want to see two on the cart right now. Uh, so, yeah, we got press man coverage. Pretty pretty easy here. Third and five. Let's see. No pass rush. Agba eventually gets there, but at that point it's too late. Um, Josh Allen has an opportunity to escape with that athleticism. Ah. Um, so let's see. John Jenkins isn't really much of a pass rusher. He should be doing what Christian Wilkins is doing, which is getting double teamed. Um, but Agba or or Van Ginkle needs to win these matchups. Van Ginkle's hands are a little bit high here. Uh, that's not going to really allow him to really get much leverage. He's trying to fix it now, but he just can't shed him. Uh, Agba does eventually get free, but it's too late. Josh is just going to take off that athleticism. Sailor needs to win this matchup. Um, Wilkins looks... Uh, he, he, he pretty much had that. He just needed to finish. But Josh was getting rid of the ball anyway. And that's just a good throw. Um, the coverage actually wasn't that bad. That was just a really good throw. And that's one thing, too. Like, we have a really good defense, and sometimes it's not the defense messing up. Sometimes the offense just makes a good play, and vice versa. I mean... Bills are super are Super Bowl contenders this year, man, and they're gonna make plays. All teams are gonna make plays sometimes. Good stop there. We gotta finish those. Um, Josh had all day back there. Like he he bought himself a lot of time. Agua couldn't finish it. And it's really tough to hold your block against Stephon Diggs for that long. It really is, especially in the red zone. And again, we start the, our defense started off in such a bad spot because of field position. All right, so now we're around the 25. It looks like the 26-yard line. So now they actually have some reasonable field position to be able to try to stop them. And from here, like, they don't really give up very much for a long time and, until they eventually just gas because our offense has no production. Um, they get some plays here and there, but nothing more than that. But let's, let's take a look at what happened with this run play. Uh, so we jammed it up pretty good here. Uh, I think that's Holland. He needs to come in here and fill that gap. Um, looks like he tried to lower his shoulder. 
I need you to wrap up there, man. Zach Moss isn't just going to go down like that easily. That wasn't Holland. I'm sorry. I apologize. Whoever this is, I can't tell. That might be McCourty. Yes, it is McCourty. I need you to wrap up there. Okay. Good job there. We we ate up that run there. Nowhere to go. That was the whole defense that really did that one. Yeah. That's just Jerome Baker being great. But uh, it's not just Jerome Baker here. Because Jerome Baker is going to force this fumble out and get a critical stop. Um, Brandon Jones is going to pick it up, but Knox is going to punch that out himself. Uh, I need you to hang on to that a little bit better, tuck that in a little bit better. But then, who is it? Uh, Javon Holland is the one that finally falls on it. Good heads up play. Uh, McCourty was all over it. Is that? That's Agua, who was also about to be all over it. Good, good job all rallying to that football. Just great overall from the defense there. And I'm not going to show the play after, but, you know, this, this is good for, like, reference. They gifted our offense this field position because of that fumble, but they couldn't capitalize. Like, we got multiple turnovers this game. We got the, like, and our offense just couldn't capitalize. They got some good field position. But they just couldn't capitalize. And our defense just got exhausted. Especially in that heat, man, against like a Super Bowl contender. They just got exhausted. I got no complaints from this defense. I mean, as far as the game as a whole goes, I do still think that we could do better against the inside run. That is definitely a thing. And it does scare me a little bit going up against the Raiders. But. And what did we do? Was that, that was a turnover, right? Let, let's, let's, let's take a look at that play. Yeah. So they gave us that great field position and then they turn it over. Like, that's the stuff that this defense was dealing with. They gifted... <laughs> they were basically trying to gift our offense some points because they knew they were struggling. Uh, Jerome Baker made such a clutch play, and our defense rallied to it, and then our offense just immediately just about turned the ball over. Like, Good job by Eric Rowe. This is good uh, play design, too. So, um... They make it look like he's going to kind of stay in the box, maybe try to guard this this uh, this tight end here. But they're going to have him come down right before the snap and just rush and go and make this tackle. Great job. And Agba is able to help finish it. Let's see how he gets free. Got his hands inside. He <laughs> uses that to extend. Gets past the shoulder, yeah. He's so consistent with his hands. Like, he's not flashy. He doesn't, like, bull rush people much. He's not going to beat you with spin moves or swim. Well, well, he actually does have a pretty decent swim move. But he's just so consistent with his hands that that's all he needs. Good job by the defense there. We got enough pre we got enough pressure to make him throw it away. Coverage was good downfield. Okay. Um, great job by Jerome Baker getting his hand on that. Obviously, a pick would have been better. Is that? Yeah, he probably could have picked that off. But. Either way, good job getting your hand up. And we got to stop. Like, just the craziness of that, right? They just caused a turnover. Jerome Baker is the one that caused that fumble for this for the defense earlier. They handed 
the offense great field position, and then they squander it immediately with by turning the ball over. And then they get a three and out right after that. Like, this defense, you can't ask much more. That's why I don't want to show too much of the second half, because I feel like it's unfair to what they were doing. The fact that we held a Super Bowl contender to 14 points after... Really, it, 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 we almost held them to nothing because the two drives early were pretty much the opposite. Like, they were just handed fantastic field position. You can't do that against Super Bowl contenders. You just can't. And then, like I said, at the end, they were just so damn tired. Makes me kind of feel bad for the defense, man. Like, the offense we have does not deserve the defense we have. This offense is atrocious. Even when we're healthy. Like, even if we had our entire personnel. This offensive line unit makes the rest not even matter. Because this is one of, this isn't just, in my opinion, the worst offensive line in the league. This is one of the worst offensive lines I've ever seen in the National Football League. Obviously, you know, some, like, bullshit colleges obviously are going to have some worst offensive lines. But, and this isn't an offense film session. That's why I'm not breaking them down. But it it does bring context to what's going on. Um, so, at least the offense was able to get a little bit of a drive going so that there's... Uh, I think this was the turnover here. But at least the defense has good field position here. Van Ginkle and um, Wilkins wrapped that up. Let's see how they both got free. Wilkins is here, right? Yeah. So he had the left hand inside. He had the right hand on the shoulder. He's keeping his eyes in the backfield. Going to defeat that that inside shoulder and help make this tackle. Let's see Van Ginkle. This is what I want to see for Wilkins. His control. Oh, he just ran free. Okay. And good job by Brandon Jones seeing this too. By the way, I am ex I am happy with how Brandon Jones has developed. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of him. When we drafted him, but he is developing well as a safety. I will say that. Great play there. Look at that. Look at the aggression from Randy Jones. <laughs> Justin Coleman following Cole Beasley around. Yeah, I mean, this reveals the man coverage, and Cole Beasley on a slant is just going to beat, man. That That's what slants are designed for, is to defeat man coverage. Cole Beasley might not be super athletic, but he is a pretty decent route runner, so that, that, that that's tough to guard. By the way, um, just as a uh, scheme, I think this is kind of cool that what the Bills are doing here. Moving Devin Singletary out into the slot and then moving Cole Beasley into running back. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I noticed that while I, while I was watching it live. But that's kind of cool. No pass rush, really. Um we had a guy starting to win at the end. Is that Scarlet? Yeah. Scarlet's impressing me too. He's got his hands inside there. Good job. Um, keeping the left hand inside. Looks like he's using the right hand to defeat the outside wrist. That's exactly what he's doing. Starts to win that leverage battle. But 
and that pressure is enough to make him miss Singletary. Justin Coleman got whooped, but let's let's see how that happened. Yeah. He needed to open up his hips and run with him a little bit faster than that. Good job staying patient. Because what you don't want to do is try to rush Josh Allen too quickly to has like, and allow him to try to get past you and just have this open run lane. Um, Van Ginkle, I think that's Siler, do a great job of containing. And great job by Xavier Howard. He's up at the top of the screen here. Let's 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 just let's just enjoy this. Press man coverage. He handles this so well. Like and like I said, crossing routes and slants and stuff like this, it's these types of plays are designed to beat man coverage. But he just has such good technique. He sticks right on Stephon Diggs, who's one of the better receivers in the league. And he just with just pure technique, he ends up getting himself in position to make this interception. And it's fantastic. And once again, this defense is handing the offense great field position that they couldn't capitalize on. By the way, I do think our offense is much better designed against uh, pass-heavy teams. Teams that are like run the ball real heavy, like the Raiders who we're about to face, uh, are a little bit scary. But look at this. We're on their fucking 25. Like, this is crazy. And we couldn't capitalize on this. Our defense played great. They got tired at the end, like I said. But how can you not, when you're playing this hard and your offense is giving you nothing in return... They at least, especially with Jason Sanders, they at least handed us field goal range. We couldn't, we couldn't do nothing. Scarlet, you're gonna blow that up. Um, I need you to disengage quicker and get your arms on that dude. But still, good job swallowing that up. I'm nitpicking the the defense because our defense is good enough to nitpick. It's already great, but I think it could be even better. Especially if we get better against the run. Because when, when we play these run-heavy teams, like the Raiders, like when we have to play New England again, it's going to be kind of spooky. Again, another great stop. This is such a good stop. Like, our whole defense rallied to this. Look at this. Left them nowhere to go. They couldn't gain a yard. And our weakness is supposed to be power run. But in the moment, we came together and stopped that. Because our defense is great. But our offense was just so terrible that they kept setting us up for failure. You know what this feels like? What our team feels like? Um, our team feels like the opposite of what Dallas was at the beginning of last year. Before Dak got hurt. Where their offense was w one of the best in the league, if not the best. But their defense was so historically terrible. That they just kept getting bad field position bat after bad field position. And they were having to get into fist fights every single game where every small error on the offense is heightened to such a degree that you have to be perfect because the defense is so bad. We're the exact opposite. Our defense is handing us great field position. Again, this is good field position. 
Uh, actually, we, we kind of drove here. But you get my point. Like, our offense is so bad, it's even affecting our great defense. That happens. If you're not balanced, one side of the ball will affect the other. And that's the thing, too, is our offense was getting some dry, was was getting a little, a little bit going sometimes. Like, we were picking up a couple first downs and stuff like that and uh, getting some decent field position. The Bills were not doing that against us. They could not really move. They might get a first down here or there. They might get a decent run here or there. But for the most part, we were locking their asses down. Adam Butler, great job. He ends up getting the first, though, because Singletary's a really good player. But Oh, was that a penalty on them? Okay. Back it up more. Second and 15. Penalties didn't help their case either. Uh, keep in mind, 75 had a lot of uh, a lot of penalties that game too. Um, we might be able to exploit him uh, later in the season. Yeah, Aqua's got his hands inside on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can beat this dude. That was almost, that was almost another turnover. Jerome Baker was like a step faster. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, our special teams fucking it up here. Like, the defense did a great job stopping him. They were helped by penalties, sure. But they did a great job, and then the Bills punt it, and Jalen Waddle drops it and ends up being a turnover, putting our defense in a horrible situation yet again. Right at the end of the half. So they're starting at, at like past the 50 yet again. Agba is going to smoke that right tackle again. <laughs> going to pressure him. Gets Byron Jones an opportunity to pick. He almost got that, but Byron's hands have never been great. Siler also got some really good pressure there as well. Uh, actually, let's let, let's go back to that. Let, let let's. Let's take a look at what he does. So, this is a little bit of a stunt. Okay, this is more of a scheme thing. Um, but, great job by Adam Butler here. Adam Butler is going to eat up the entire interior offensive line. The center and both guards, he's going to eat those blocks. And he just gets a run free. Good job by Adam Butler. Yeah, Agba's got that dude. Good job by Brandon Jones sniffing that out. Getting there quickly. Yeah. <laughs> he forced him to throw that out. Uh, he ends up shanking it, but if you look at the field position there of the kick, despite where the defense started because of field position, they barely even moved at all. Like, you can't expect them to do this so many times in a row. Also, if you don't know, defense is a lot more exhausting to play than offense. Because offense, you know where you're going and stuff like that. The defense, is, it's so much more exhausting than offense. It just is. Just the nature of it. 
That's why you have defensive players rotating more than offensive. Good teams make good plays sometimes. That's that's what that is. Um, good blocking here on their part. This is something I've talked about before. Um, this is how you beat people on the interior a lot of times, even if you're not better than them. Uh, if you can just kind of push them into each other, they kind of end up blocking themselves. Ando Sanders made a good catch there. Once again, a veteran receiver, a good receiver, making a good play. Happens. Yeah, uh, 75 is getting cooked. <laughs> uh, Ogba's gotten him multiple times. Now Van Ginkle's getting him. Couldn't quite get there, though. Enough to get the pressure, though. Singletary in motion. Get it to him. Um, good job, Justin Coleman, getting off him and uh, getting off of Cole Beasley and get, getting your arms on him. But I'm going to need you to make this tackle. I know it's Devin Singletary. He's not easy to tackle, but I need you to just hang on. Also, Brandon Jones, don't try to hit. Wrap up. Finish the tackle. Because Justin Coleman is able to get is able to make a good play getting off Cole Beasley, wrap him up. Now I need Brandon Jones to come up and just finish this play. Instead, he just goes low and just tries to arm tackle him. You can't do that to Devin Singletary. He could have finished that play. Yeah, Coleman gets called for the face mask, but that that that's an effort thing. I'm okay. I, that's okay. Great job by Agba. He played well all day. He played really well against New England, too. Manuel Agba is very consistent. Good job. So a Sailor. Good coverage by Byron. Stephon Diggs just made a play. He's gonna. Like I said, I just think that I just think the defense was just exhausted at this point. It was literally for an entire half. They had this Super Bowl contender offense in check, and it's mostly off of their offense. Their defense is good, but their offense is what leads the Bills. And we were able to keep them in check relatively when they weren't gifted amazing field position. Also, I'm not really that big on Michael Pilardi either. I think Matt Hawk was much better, but, you know. Good job. Let's see how he got off the block. Sealer is the one that makes this play. Let's see how he does it. Uh, this is kind of a combination of things here. So he's got the left hand inside for sure. He's got really good leverage. He's getting lower than his opponent. I can't see what his hand's doing. It looks like the right hand is on the outside shoulder. It looks like the inside is on his chest. He's pushing him back, driving him back, being stronger, disengages. Good job. I wish I had the all 22s to get a better angle at that, but. Maybe I'm bothered to finish that. Good job by Brandon Jones. And I don't think that that was uh, a late hit on the quarterback either. I, I, I do not. 
Um, he didn't lead with the helmet, so. Um, from Brandon Jones, keep you, you, you got to keep your head level. Trying to push Josh Allen way after you got to the sideline. We can't be having that. I know you're frustrated. I know you're tired. I know our offense is ass, but we can't have that stuff. Because unfortunately, our defense has to play perfect. They have that pressure because our offense is so bad. Jason McCourty almost makes that pick. If he reads that a half a step faster, that's an interception. Great coverage by Xavier Howard yet again. Agba getting pressure. Got him. Let's see how he did that. Let's see how he whooped 75 again. Thirty-five is kind of flailing his arms a little bit. Swipe that that uh the outside hand down. Just gonna rip it. Pretty much take that arm with him. And yeah, he's got that. And then Van Ginkle looks like is the spy here. Um, this is actually kind of actually we were kind of talking about this. So we see what Agua does. Let's take a look at Van Ginkle here. He's he's a spy in this case. Um, I mentioned always wanting a QB spy on Josh Allen because of how athletic he is. Uh, I think that's that should be the move, the thing moving forward whenever we play against him or any other mobile quarterback. And he's there to help finish it. Great play. Van Ginkle is also pretty consistent. But I, th I think Agba is our most consistent defensive lineman, bar none. We'll do like one more drive. Because after that is when they just start getting so gassed they can't do anything. So once again, the Bills are gifted great field position because we get stopped on a fourth down. Which essentially is a turnover, so. Good job, Justin Coleman. Wilkins needs to finish that. Let's 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 see what how he got free like that. He just this guy just kinda just tried to lean into Wilkins. <laughs> he kinda ends up going free. That was just a bad play by the tackle, but he needs to finish. Jerome Baker needs to finish that, too. I need you to knock his stiff arm, but like I said, Devin Singletary is a good player. Xavier Howard just can't make that pick. It's unfortunate. I'm not mad at him. It's raining. Great player. Made a pick earlier. Got a fumble last game. Good job by Jason. Like I said, I can't be too mad at the defense here. Like they're exhausted. They were gi they were given terrible field position yet again by this offense. Like, there's not much more you can ask from them. Yeah. They get the QB sneak. Play action. Wilkins almost gets there. Great play by Byron Jones. Great coverage still. Gets his hand on the ball. Agba almost, <laughs> almost murdered Josh Allen. He ran free, though. No. 
Yeah, they're gonna get us for that. But whatever. Like I said, at this, at this point, I can't even really criticize the defense too much. Because outside of bad field position, we really didn't let the Bills do anything. Every time they got into the end zone was when they were given, when the defense was just given awful field position. And we even stopped them a couple times there, like we did at the end of the half. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna wrap it up there. Um, I I don't like I said I don't want to discredit this defense by showing um, the rest of this game because, like I said, they were just so damn tired. The offense played so terribly. I I don't want to discredit them by showing that shit. They were just gassed. So yeah, overall I think the defense played very well. Definitely some things to clean up. Uh, need to finish a little bit more. Consistently, especially on like Wilkins' part, especially because he's supposed to be such a big part. Now, he is good at eating up blocks. Uh, I'm not saying that Christian Wilkins is bad. He's definitely not. Um, he, he is pretty good about eating up blocks. But he's just not getting the pass rush I, I would hope for from him. Agba played great. All the corners played great. DBs in general, really. Uh, Jerome Baker played much better this game. Um, we did pretty well against the run as well. We had a couple plays here and there that we could clean up. Um, but overall, I think this was, this was a great showing by the defense. Our offense just really fucked this over, over and over and over. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So, Pretty much every YouTuber on this platform is pretty much doing ads like this. YouTube, YouTube's ad revenue is broken. It doesn't really pay well anymore, so we have to look to outside sources to make our income. Um, and if you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, I would greatly appreciate you going over to my Patreon. It doesn't take much. Just $1 a month would really help me out quite a bit and c continue to help me be able to put out these videos because I put a lot of time and effort into it, especially during draft season, watching the film and everything like that. Uh, so I would greatly appreciate you guys going to check out my Patreon. It is Anime Dolphin, no capitalization. The link to it will be in the description of this video and pretty much every video moving forward. Um, so yeah, if you if if you want to help support me, that'd be greatly appreciated. There's multiple different tiers. It's all explained well on my Patreon account. Uh, and if you want to check that out, I would, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.